Hey everyone, we have learned about some great people so far, but today's story about a young boy in Africa changed my life forever. If you're ready, grab a mat and let's get started. William and his family live in a small village in Wimby, farming every day. Let's begin standing on our mats to warm up our bodies. Let's step both feet apart. Inhale your arms high to the sky. On your exhale, bend your knees, flatten your back, and touch the earth. Inhale, arms up high to the sky, get length. Exhale, bend your knees, flat back. One breath with one movement. Warming up the body for our yoga practice today. Imagine you are young William out in the field with your father. Inhale, feel the sun on your face. Exhale, let the breath out. A few more times with your own breath and speed. Inhale all the way up to the sky. Exhale. Excellent job. Slowly put both hands down on your mat and let's lift our hips up to the sky to downward facing dog. Take a few breaths, pressing your chest towards your thighs, your hips lift to the sky and your feet sink to the earth. William loved to learn and happily walked to school each day. So let's pick up our feet and begin to walk to school. Your own speed and breath. Breathe in, breathe out. William did not attend school for very long because his family did not have enough money to pay for, for the fees. Figuring out a way to use the school library, William continued to read about energy. So let's create energy with our movements. Inhale, lift our right leg to the sky. Exhale, bring your nose to knee and step forward. Drop your left knee to the mat. Inhale, look up to the sky. Exhale, slowly sit back and straighten your right leg. Inhale forward, look up to the sky, exhale back. One more time, inhale, exhale. Inhale forward, exhale, Lift your right leg to the sky. Lower your right leg. Inhale, lift your left leg to the sky. Exhale, bring your left knee to your nose and step forward. Drop your right knee to your mat. Inhale, look up to the sky. Exhale, slowly sit back and straighten your left leg. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Bringing heat and energy to our bodies. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Inhale forward. Exhale, lift your left leg high to the sky. Lower your left leg. And let's rest in child's pose for a few breaths. A severe drought left William's village in famine. No rain, no food. And people began stealing from others. William's family had only enough for one small meal each day. His dog, his loyal companion, did not survive. Have you ever lost someone you love? So let's take a peaceful moment in Downward Facing Dog, 
for William's dog or anyone that you have lost that you love. Breathe in love and positivity. Breathe out sadness or negativity and let it all go. One more time with your breath and your speed. Inhale. Exhale. Despite the hard, William knew he could help his village by building a windmill with power and electrical water pump from the scraps he found in the junkyard. Let's step our right foot forward, turn your left foot, and rest your right arm on your right leg. Reach your left arm over your ear. Imagine you are the in windmill and bring your left arm down, right arm up. Find magic in your movement. Softly blow in the wind. Inhale. And exhale back. Windmill your arms back to the ground and step back to downward facing dog. Step your left foot forward, turn your right foot, and rest your left arm on your left leg. Reach your right arm over your ear. Imagine you are the in windmill and bring your right arm down, left arm up. Softly blow in the wind. Inhale forward and exhale back. One more time. And back. Windmill your arms back to the ground and step back to downward facing dog. And sit down onto your mat. William's idea worked, but now he needed his father's permission to disassemble his father's bicycle to build a bigger windmill. It was the only bicycle in the village and the very last thing they could sell for food. His father thought it was foolishness and destroyed his smaller windmill. Let's lay down on our mat. Put your hands behind your head. Alternate your opposite elbow to your opposite knee. One foot can be on the mat for support, other side, or you can even bring your feet off the mat for a little bit more work. Center, alternate knee, center, alternate knee. Center, control your speed and your breath. Good job. A few more. Let's speed this out now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Imagine you're a bicycle. Good job. Slowly drop and lay to your mat. You have done a great job today, moving and breathing, and it's time for final relaxation. So get comfortable, shoulders, hips, feet, evenly aligned. Resting your hands to your side, turn your palms open to the sky. Gently close your eyes and match the rhythm of your heart with the rhythm of your breath. Soft and smooth, deep, even breathing. William respected his father's wishes despite the purpose he knew was his. With his mother's help, his father finally agreed to give him the bicycle. Together with friends and the remaining villagers, they built a full-size windmill, producing electricity and pumping water to grow crops. God is as the wind, William said, which touches everything. Because a young boy followed his heart, he saved his family and village against starvation. Lay still for just a bit longer, letting go of the world around you. 
where does your heart lead you? Inhale and exhale. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, and slowly roll to the right side of your body. On your next breath, slowly and gently open your eyes and sit up to an easy seated position on your mat. Thank you for practicing with us today. In any circumstance we find ourselves in, we can follow our hearts just like William did and change the world for good. Namaste. Goodbye, see you next time.